Hey, my name is Brian. That is Shane. And this is the podcast. Very specifically, the podcast live. Podcast unleashed, uncensored, and certainly not uncircumcised. Here we go. Shane, what's going on with that mask? Hey, I, I don't know what these Orville people have, man. Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're here to talk about our latest video on the podcast main. Podcast Prime, if you like. I'm referring to our main channel, which more than likely you came from that channel, I'm assuming. Um, if you happen to find uh, this channel without getting to our Podcast Prime channel, First off, I'm impressed. That's amazing. <clears throat> Secondly, um, does YouTube like us all of a sudden? Because they haven't liked us for a couple years. But I'm pretty <laughs> positive you came here from that channel. So, let's talk about our latest <laughs> video. Titled, Sci-Fi Viruses We're Glad Aren't Real. Or, specifically, right now, you may my bad. Specifically, be happy these science fiction shows aren't real. Shane. Yes, I really want to get into that first. Can you go back? I want to show my look at this mask just totally jacked up my nose here. Oh, look at that! It did. And look, you like my coronavirus hair? Yeah, I was so. Let's check it out, guys. This is called a hot comb. Oh, so I, it's crazy. You like John Travolta and Saturday Night Live? Right? Yeah. So uh, I normally have my hair short. If you've been following us for a while, then you know. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a short hair guy. I don't like long hair, but uh. There ain't no barbers open. Right. We can't get our hair cut. And I am just like <laughs> devolving into a caveman over here. Um, our good friend Jeremy Snyder said it best. Pretty soon we're all going to be caveman. <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah. Before. So it's rough, dude. This is actually like, oh, this is Brian's hair groomed. When I got out of the shower the other day. Um, oh, I'm gonna show that. I'm gonna show the picture. We have that capability now. So, oh, what's up? What's up? Um, you know what? Sure. Hey, that me. That's another thing too. One. Of the, I wonder if people want to see, uh, if they ever want to see that video of me building the the new Popcast computer. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, but about this. This. Look at that video. Look oh, at that hair. Oh, dude. Bro, that is. <laughs> You look like you know. You look like you looked like the original Doctor Smith from Lost in Space. Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, the, the face, anyways. Oh yeah, look, Jeremy Snyder. We're all gonna look like Sasquatches. Sasquatches. Right, that's a bad. That's a hard word to say. Sasquatches. 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 Anyways, we are here to talk about mm -hmm. the latest video because that's probably why you're here. And uh, yes, let's get into it, huh? And uh, you know, it's funny. This video is interesting because you know a lot of it. We're talking, you know, of course, we're all going through this thing right now with the coronavirus. And, you know, so we were like, well, you know, what can we do? You showing me that? What's going on? Is that your breakfast? That's my breakfast, yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> so basically, we're, we're, we're looking for things to do. We're looking for videos. We actually had a bunch of Picard videos we're working on and some various other things coming up that we can't tell you about, but it's coming that are going to be great <laughs> videos. But we're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, okay. Hey, hey, surprise, surprise, everybody. We're making more Star Trek stuff. Yeah, so well, there'll be some. <laughs> I'm just saying it's best with you. <laughs> well, it, yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of content for it right now. Mm -hmm. So we thought, like, okay, well, what can we do? Like, what can we do? Let's, because we wanted a little bit of comic relief. Because if you notice, this video is a little bit different. There's a little bit more comedic stuff in it than we normally would do. Um, and so we wanted it to be a little bit more fun. So you can keep people's minds off it. I mean, it's hard enough to find YouTube videos that I haven't watched twice. Right. Uh, there's not a lot of new content coming out. So we're like, well, let's just do something different, which we've never done anything like this before, really. Right. Like a, you know, we used to do like a top five or top 10 on our old, old videos when it was just me and Brian sitting here talking. But in this new format, we've never done this before. So hopefully you guys like it. And, um, and that's cool. So there were some interesting challenges uh, looking for viruses out there. We had to kind of figure out what we wanted to do at first. We said, well, you know, there, there's a million viruses out there and like half of them all belong to like turning people into zombies. So we were like, well, let's just try to stay away from those because, you know, 
there's a million of those and how would you pick the zombie viruses, right. you know? And so we decided to stick to TV shows since we kind of cover that quite a bit too. Right. Check us out guys. I want to show you guys uh, a good example of that comedy. Yeah, here we go. 99.9% .9 of the population became so lethargic, they stopped working, talking, and eventually moving. Sort of like Brian after a large pepperoni pizza. <laughs> I'm in danger. But <laughs> that is so wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, so I wrote Brian into the script, which I like to do from time to time. And this is his payback to me is is by uh and i wrote uh, shane the script <laughs> yes you did i was not expecting to be there so that was funny unexpected um how do we pick these viruses bro so brian was promising me a list of uh viruses because this was actually I, th I think you kind of i feel like brian has watched everything that's ever been created everything that's ever been you made know? ever so anytime i have a question about something i'm like well brian's probably watched it you know he's like that um that life cereal commercial where it says, well, give it to Mikey, Mikey will eat it. Well, give it to Brian. Brian has watched it. Like he's watched everything. So I said, dude, can you give me some viruses from sci-fi and just kind of let me know wh which ones do you think are the best? I got a couple, but what do you got? And so it took some time. He's been having a lot going on. So finally I'm like, forget about it. So I went looking for some viruses. Well, guess what? I found a lot of viruses in Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Originally. And I'm like, well, we don't want to have just a bunch of stars. This is about sci-fi, so... There's like 15 comments about the phage. We know about the phage. Yeah, so that is a good point. I probably should pull that up just so we can look at that. Um, we, we, didn't, we didn't put it on the list for a, a variety of reasons. Right, um, well, no, well, we could pick two. So here's the thing is, we could... I, I didn't even... I really only wanted to have one Star Trek virus. I wanted mm -hmm. one from different genres. And the reason why I picked the Klingon augment virus, because honestly, it was the funniest, you know, and we were able to do that whole thing with the, you know, being turned into a monster where basically they have to become human, which is just gross and disgusting to them. Right, right. Which, oh, which uh, oh, oh yeah, you know what? Let's, let's show that clip real quick. Oh, that was yeah, really yeah. funny. Um, oh, uh, speaking of another clip that I thought was really funny. Do you recognize a problem with this? Oh yeah, no hairy legs and panties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. that's a I subtle took, joke, right? <laughs> no, it was funny. I t it took a couple. It, it actually took a couple minutes to register for a second, and I'm like, "Wow, she really has let the coronavirus take over." <laughs> She's really, you know, taking that at home thing seriously. Yeah, here, here's the here's the clip right here. This is really funny, I think. Klingons being horribly transformed into hideous looking humans. Put it on, viewer. It's working. Let me see. Oh. Human females are so repulsive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, that had me laughing. I was like, I was like a little risque there, but that was hilarious, man. I loved it. Oh, man. It, it was, it could have been way worse. Like, you're. I, knowing that this is a good family channel, right? I zoomed in on certain portions of that on purpose so that other things would not be shown. And I did some zooming and some cropping to make that joke work without getting him without uh, without getting one of those community strike guideline things, you know? Yeah, I could just see right now my kids like, "Hey, Dad, uh, got a question for you. What what is that?" Oh man, that uh, <laughs> that footage is that was funny. Um. So just going through some of the questions here real quick, because, oh, so we ended up picking, oh yeah, finish here. So we ended up picking, so started with the Klingon augment virus and I was like, okay, that's funny. That's great. I said, but I don't want to stay in Star Trek because I kept finding a bunch of stuff in Star Trek. There's the harvester virus. There's the, um, um, the phage there's, and of course there's the Borg. Uh, there was a Borg virus that I thought was super interesting. And of course I had a hard time not talking about the Borg, of course, because we love talking about the Borg, and I wanted that to be in there as well. So definitely had to have Klingon virus. So stuck, put, push those as far apart as we could, put the Borg virus at the end, which I, which felt appropriate. It did, yeah. And we went and found some other cool stuff. Now, of course, we're big Stargate fans, and um, that Ori plague, Ori virus was, was just something that's like, you imagine it just can't be stopped. 
you know, they're coming in and basically strong arming these people, forcing them to join a cult, essentially. And um, and I thought that was really interesting. And I figured you'd like that. That's one of the one reasons I picked that one. Oh, man. I, well, you know, I feel like this list, I mean, it's not a top five list or whatever, right? It's right. our, we it's our top pick. five. Yeah. Right. The thing is, this list of uh, viruses that we picked, in my opinion, wouldn't be correct without without showing the Ori plague. Considering they did, yeah. they, I mean, they they literally dedicated like what two seasons to the yeah. Ori. No, it was it's it, it definitely encompassed a large part of the show. That's why I feel like the Borg. Um, had to be in there. I felt like the Ori plague had to be there. I thought the Klingon, you know, these are things that, that have huge chunks of these shows. Oh, quick notation, by the way. Um, there's a clip in here of, uh, I think it's a priest or something. Yeah. Oh, the, it's a clip in here of a priest. The prior. Oh, the Catholic priest. Yeah. Yeah. There's a clip in here of a Catholic priest. I gotta say, <clears throat> uh, the Catholic church is extremely litigious. Because I had to upload this video like four times before I got it correct. Because the, originally the footage I had of just a priest was getting claimed really? by the Catholic Church. Yeah. That's real. I guess that's one way to make yeah, money. It's Catholic Church is making money on YouTube. Yeah, it's so weird. It was just footage too. It wasn't even audio. I'm not even sure how they found it. So huh. where is it? It's coming up here. Yeah. yeah, it's just like the like a body shot. I don't even think it's a face. Well, yeah, right here. So the reason it's a body shot is because yeah. I zoomed in to make it the body shot. Smart. Okay. Yeah. Um. So they couldn't they couldn't get us. Can't get us if you can't see it. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, that was one of those funny jokes. You know, if you go back and you you kind of know about how plagues and viruses have disseminate. You know, have decimated civilizations obviously the when the catholics came over i'm not saying the catholics did it it was explorers originally but you know catholics were coming over pushing you know christianity uh onto these natives and i mean know, dude yeah dude that was the whole or i mark about the plague that was it was it was a reference to that you know it was commentary yeah, i mean i don't i don't i think that for I mean, the most I'm not part, saying the catholic church is evil like the or right. but I think for the most part, they were honestly trying to convert them to save their souls. That's what they wanted to do. And they, but they used it a lot of times by saying, well, this is what we can do for your community. So they came in not really threatening them initially until the conquistadors came in. But uh, yeah, but then it happened. Anyways. Yeah, oh, it's kind by of the way, I want to commend you, Shane, because I love this part of the script that you wrote here. Check us what out. does any disease wielding, religion thumping messenger do when his biological weapon no longer works? That's right, he takes his alien Bible and goes home. Thank you for your sacrifice, Lewis Gossett Jr. Jafar! Jafar, take care! What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you heard me! I said Cree! Yeah, so there was a moment there, and no one knows this but Shane. That's right, yep. First off, the Lewis Gossett Jr. Great, awesome. I love that you included that. Because he was he was a great he was a, he was an amazing guest star, yeah. But right at the end of that, when he says "Thank you for your sacrifice, Louis Gossett Jr.," Shane belts out <laughs> a loud, prof, you know, profound Jafar Cree. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. And the thing was, um, he didn't like properly back away from his mic, so I did not. Yeah. It was not only was it insanely clipped and peaked. <laughs> <laughs> I did my magic. I made it sound okay, but when, when I was after the audio was done, I was getting a video. I kept going and over that same part, and like it just it did it did not sound like the audio quality and like that we wanted. So instead, I put the Jaffa Cree tribute at the end of that. Uh, yeah, it, you know, as as a as. I know what Shane's chain wants to end with Jaffa Cree. So I'll just put Jaffa Cree in there. Yeah. No, I got to tell you, I, Richard Dean Anderson's Jaffa Cree at the end was way better than mine. I, I appreciated that, you know, cause you know, I love RDA. I said Cree. <laughs> I, cause I did, I, you know, I wanted to give you that moment where, like I said, this was trying to be a lighter video. I don't typically do this in the videos, but I wanted to give you a, and I didn't even think about it. I mean, I just belted it right into the mic and I'm like, 
after I did it and I sent it to you, I'm like, that's not going to turn out so well. So you did perfect. The edit, it was, the edit was great. And I really want to mention that before we keep going through this, that Brian's editing of this video is, is really good guys. He's really taken great pieces and moved it along and, and kind of matched great video with the script to keep it really entertaining. So good job, bro. On this one. Thanks bro. Yeah. I love it. I love, thank you. I love you, bro. Ah, it just it wouldn't be great without what you do, man. It's so good. And vice versa, my friend. Um, so what else about this video? Uh, oh, what about, uh, are we gonna talk about the Serenity portion? Yeah. So let's just go. So we were at, uh, I think Stargate. So yeah. going to the, uh, Bowser. Next one was the Cylon virus, I think. Yes. So the Cylon. So this is interesting. Brian and I have not done any Battlestar Galactica yet. Hint, hint. Hint, um, hint. Yeah. But hint, hint. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wink. Wink. I can't wink. What the F? I don't know. I don't know. Wink. Yeah. And I think it's funny you got to open your mouth and you do it. Yeah, <laughs> I physically uh, can't wink. What the hell is wrong with my face? Like a Mickey Mouse wink. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which, uh -huh. by the way, there's a great Mickey Mouse clip in oh, there. Oh, yeah, we'll show it. When we get there, we'll show it. That's great. The Disney overlords. Oh, the, the serenity portion of this was actually my was actually the funnest part for me to... Edit. Okay, we'll talk about that right now. Just just real quick on the Cylon one. Um, so the Cylon... Is, is, Battlestar Galactica is a weird... Um, it's really weird. So there's some really interesting things I learned about Battlestar Galactica that I'm not going to ruin for you, but their beginnings are very interesting. Um, but the show basically changed its story from the old series in the seventies to what they did in 2004. It's, it's a different story. Oh yeah. It's, it's dude. Some, there's some conspiracies out there that think that this is actually <laughs> not a reboot, but a continuation. Uh, okay. Well, we can go into that on yeah. That's actually a good theory video, maybe. I mean, dude, I think, and I, I gotta, I gotta tell, I gotta say, they might be right. It might be a continuation of the '70s version and not a reboot. Okay, so that'll be great, maybe for us to do a a video on that later at some point. Um, okay, so you're showing all the good stuff here. We should have talked about this. So I mean, anyway, I can pause it. Wait, roll it back to the to the Nyquil portion, if you would. Backwards. Okay. And farther back? Well, is that back? I'm oh, back. there you go. Yeah. Go to the... Uh, yeah, right, th right there. What did you think? <laughs> I don't know where this came from, but you found this NyQuil, or is it NyQuil footage? Of yeah, a commercial? It's sniffling. Right? Yeah, it's, it's NyQuil, yeah. You know, that's that's got to be the go-to medicine. So I, I was glad that you included that. That was great. Yeah, you know what's funny is I actually have some of that vapor cool right now. I've been coughing on it lately. Oh. And then you went in and talked about, we, you know, we talked about this virus because, you know, it's, it's interesting because they use basically computers against the humans, which I think is a really cool idea um, for the show. Basically, it turns them into a vulnerability. And so we all wanted to find a way to showcase that. So when we, I love that you put the podcast here uh, on the little laptop with people watching it. That was a nice little, I just wanted to keep it light and fun. Yeah. I, I like this though. Watch, watch when they get a virus. They're like, oh, yeah, virus. <laughs> yeah, right, look at oh. <laughs> I never, I didn't notice that the first time around. <laughs> That's great. Like, oh, yes, we didn't want to watch the podcast anyways. <laughs> I didn't notice that. That's awesome. Oh, anyways, so the Cylons, we know how that ends. Um, Obviously, this is stock footage, right? <laughs> right. I, oh, yeah, that's. Oh, this is the portion, Shane, that I was telling you about. I actually sped this up. Originally, okay. this was so slow. That it was getting claimed, yes, but it also looked bad. Like it, well, I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is with uh, Balsar Galactica, but Balsar Galactica is, it's so slow. Everything Balsar Galactica does, every yeah. shot, right here, here it is. Every shot, every piece of dialogue is slow, drawn out, and dragged on. It's almost like, hey, we can make this entire series into you know, three movies or we can drag it out for five seasons. What do you think? And yeah, there's, I mean, it, it obviously won some awards. Um, yeah, I'm not it saying was, it's bad. I'm just saying that it's slow. Oh yeah. It's well made, but I do, there is, yeah, it just kind of, it's Bro, one of those I shows. Up, that just, I sped up all the BSG footage you see in here. 
Yeah. And I I bet you ten bucks that people that don't watch this ep- that don't that don't watch this video right that we're watching right that we're, that we're saying right now yeah. wouldn't even notice. They wouldn't even notice this is all no. sped up footage. Well, because it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't it's all it. been sped up by like twenty five percent, and it's unnoticeable because BSG. I think they actually slow their stuff down. I think they actually slow their footage down on purpose. <laughs> um. Okay, so just finishing off that one there. Okay, yeah, let's move on to Serenity, the Pax virus. <laughs> See, so, <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking about how slow, uh, slow BSG yeah. is. You're like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Let's just move. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's funny. I I don't I want to I don't want to talk about it a lot because <laughs> I, I know about sorry. Yeah, so we're working on some stuff. Anyways, so we we'll, we'll go more into Battlestar stuff soon if you're a Battlestar fan you'll want to make sure you're you're subscribed to us and we're not hey we're not trashing it there's no no no, no, there's there's criticisms of Battlestar Galactica that are totally valid but there's also praise that's valid Battlestar Galactica uh the reason why it won awards like the story alone is is worthy of being told Um, yeah but there's some arguments we made that the stylistic way they shot the thing and how slow it is like it dates the crap out of out of that show. It was the sign of the times mm-hmm. of what was being produced at the time. This is a really good sci-fi version of <clears throat> kind of the way things were being made at that time. If you look at a lot of the TV shows, you know the, a lot of the um, like twenty-four popular. Like, I'm surprised yeah, like there's a ticking clock at the bottom of every one of these episodes. <laughs> yeah, I think Prison Break. I think was out of that Prison time. Break. Same way. Yeah, they're yeah. all yeah all that early two thousand stuff, man. It was very popular, mm-hmm. and so they just kind of took it in this direction and you know people enjoyed it you know when when it was out it was enjoyable anyways let's move on before i do something yeah say, yeah say, don't say too much yeah yeah don't let's talk um, about serenity serenity's pax fire so this was a great one i loved including this one because by our rules we shouldn't have included it because it really wasn't a tv show this was the movie serenity was the movie but brian and i talked about it we're like you know what get that man firefly <laughs> firefly got a you know, it got jacked by Fox, so we're we're gonna do whatever we want. We're gonna talk about it. Let's plus, play that portion. Virus. Real, let's play that portion real quick. I think it's pretty good. Virus. Would a government release a virus into a populace in an attempt to control them? Let's hope not, since we're currently making. Sorry. Quick commentary. <clears throat> Notice that? Oh yeah, I do. You, you see it? Yeah, do you see? What? You see what's going on here? I do. Yeah, yeah, I see what's happening. Yeah. See. Why don't you explain it to everybody else? You see that, guys? I. <laughs> it's 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 China. <laughs> it's it's China. It's China. It's China. <laughs> China. It's China. <laughs> that is the coronavirus with it's the Chinese China. flag wrapped around it. <clears throat> <laughs> where did you? I don't even want to know where you got it. Yeah, yeah. Look, Government release. Look, here's the deal. Okay. <laughs> After after show okay so it was Shane says <clears throat> Shane says right here in this clip I'm just gonna pause, sorry Serenity's Pax virus would a government re- would a government release a virus showing the coronavirus with the Chinese flag wrapped around it and then <laughs> release a virus into a populace in an attempt showing to Hong control- Kong and mm-hmm. Hong Kong and the date of the protest right notice the date notice the date. When oh was the gosh, conspiracy? When was the coronavirus released, everybody? Well, they said November. Right. When were the protest at its peak in Hong Kong? June. Actually, I don't remember. No, you're right. It was. It was much later. Yeah, it was much later. The that protest- would be a great video. The problem is, is. Because China is like overlords over everything right oh, now. Yeah. Like you can't. We, we like can you never. Like, yeah, I can't talk bad about China. <laughs> you can't talk about China. What are you doing? Oh, hey, hey look it up, like, man. Our houses. Yeah. Now look. Yes. Okay. So no conspiracies here. Everybody here. Let's just lay lay out the facts. Hey. Lay out the facts. Okay. Lay out the facts, man. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Here's the facts, bro. All right. What's the fact? All right. This footage was taken June 9th, two thousand nineteen. This is when the protest in Hong Kong started. Okay. Okay. 
Huh. Wait, wait, wait. Well, Look then. at that guy right there. With the wait, go back. Look at that guy right there. Go back a little bit. Right there with the blue thing. Uh, that's not a blue thing. You know what that is? That's a bat. He's eating it. He's eating the bat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right. Sorry. they started in June 9th in 2019. Penguin or whatever. Yeah. They went on for months to the point where even the Blizzard, uh, you know, the game, the, uh, the gaming company Blizzard, they had this big tournament where one of the players was a Chinese uh, player and he was like a Hong Kong, like, sympathizer? I don't know what the word is. Whatever. Okay. okay? But he was like, he basically said something something along the lines of like I stand with Hong Kong at the end of uh of of his win. Like he won this tournament. And like Blizzard stripped him of his money, his rank, you know, banned him, everything because <clears throat> China. Well, <laughs> I'm just all I'm saying is this virus escapes the lab in Wuhan. And I don't want to get into it too much, but did you say escapes the lab? Escapes the lab. Escapes the lab. <laughs> it was a lab in Wuhan. I know they say it could have been someone eating bats or whatever. But here's it. So this virus was being produced in a lab in Wuhan and escaped at the perfect time. This is this is I'm not a conspiracy theorist, okay? But this is what makes me question question my sanity because ah uh, when is the lunar new year shane um backwards on your screen but it's it's in january right yeah. january 25th okay okay this thing escapes the lab in wuhan at the end of 2020 2019 2019 and escapes the lab Escapes the lab. I don't know. It comes out of lab, whatever the deal is. Wet markets, yeah, whatever. Whatever it is. But it's in Wuhan. Wuhan is where all the people in China are traveling to for the new Lunar New Year. Right. Literally, people from all over China travel to this place to celebrate this a holiday. Right? And so they all, they all come, they all get infected, and then disperse back out to the rest of the planet. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I get it. So if you were a conspiracy theorist, this is what I'd say. Now listen, I want to just say Chinese people are awesome people. I want to be very clear about this. So what we're saying is, is Chinese people are great people. They're, yeah, yeah. You know, we're talking about nothing, the, we're talking the about Chinese the government. government is questionable. We will yeah. say that. Yeah, I'm not talking, I'm not talking about that. No, I'm not talking about Chinese people, okay? Yeah. I want to be really sure. clear. Chinese people are great. Nothing to do with that. I'm talking there, about the well, there's government. Some, it, there are some fools out there that... The, the authoritarian you know, government of China. Right. But there's fools out there putting, putting you know, looking at Chinese people differently, and they shouldn't. Okay? Because it That's has dumb. nothing to do with them. That's stupid. They're fools. But They're China, China as a government, China, the Chinese government is number one goal is to br bring our government down. That's yes. what they want. And they there's, want to dominate a, the planet. There's a, there's a saying that they have. There can only be one sun in the sky. Right. Okay. So they believe this. I'm just letting you know. So, so there are conspiracy theorists who say, and we're not, not, we're not saying this. I want to be clear because Brian kind of made it sound like we are, but we're not. We're not. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that if you were going to spread an infection to the rest of the world and try to like bring down economies and stuff, if you were going to do it, Wuhan, January 25th, 2020, would be a great place to like get That's out. That's the place to start one. <laughs> that would be the, the great place, place to get out. If your goal <laughs> is to take down the world economy and devalue the American dollar uh -oh. and destroy your competition uh -oh. and control your uh -oh. people in Hong hey, stop. Kong. Stop, dude. Okay, I got to put stuff in my hands right now because you're freaking me out. All right. If your and goal Santa. is to control your population, okay, completely mm -hmm. stop people from Hong Kong from uh, leaving your government, control the world economy, destroy the American dollar, Red a good dollar. place to... No, no. Sam, the best place to start is to release your virus in Wuhan during the effing Lunar New Year. That is the... Come on! Come on! Come now, on, also, man! Yeah. Or we could be 100% wrong. Yeah. It's, possible. it's a coincidence. So it's anyways. possible. It's all just a giant coincidence. 
that the that the, one of the most the most authoritative governments on the planet could be doing something shady. Yeah. Now, in 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 the defense of anybody who thinks differently, there are forty thousand wet markets in, in Asia. Um, where people basically slaughter animals of all different types, yeah. wild animals. And when you put certain animals like like pangolins and uh, what's those things that run around that people have here in the States as pets, the little... Uh... Dogs? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Exotic wild animals. No, uh, you know, the things... Uh, anyways. <laughs> expect that did you know? i didn't and you know now you got me off but they're the little skinny long rat looking things mongooses no never mind ferrets ferrets there you go when you put certain animals together that aren't naturally together in the wild they can pass things to each other and that's kind of what happened 60 minutes australia has a really great video about how this probably broke out uh-huh. in that area and it's because i mean think about it Forty thousand wet markets 40,000 places. Do we have that many restaurants? Like, I don't know. That's 40,000 places where they slaughter wild animals. I'm with you, bro. But I would love, I would love to check the books for 60 Minutes Australia and see, and see if 60 Minutes Australia might have a portion of its company owned by Tencent or something. Well, I don't know. No, no. They're, they're constantly talking garbage on China on that channel. So, You know, 60 Minutes Australia, they actually talk a lot of garbage on China and they uncover quite a bit of stuff. They have great videos if you're looking for what China's doing, you know, that maybe is not great. Okay, so they're not, maybe they're not owned by Tencent. I'm just saying. They're not. No, it's a, it's actually a pretty good, pretty good channel. Gotcha. Um, So, yeah. So back to this really quick. Uh, So we were talking about that you had the really funny Trump thing in there about China. That was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play it. Let's play it. I thought it was funny too government ordered quarantine hmm it comes from china but for the citizens <laughs> <laughs> you know so yeah there's a little bit of that going around and of course in serenity we find out that you know the government the the solar system government the control has the- uh taken this planet of miranda and basically <clears throat> tried to see if they could control their population what's it called like the alliance or something the alliance I, of the inner planets yeah i actually forgot i don't know how but then yeah well yeah so so the movie's great and of course the the virus just you know basically ends up killing 99 point <laughs> oh dude that was so funny yeah, we gotta, that was we great gotta, that was a great put in there yeah we gotta show this <laughs> we gotta show this oh my bad i clicked the wrong thing i'm still learning this live stream nonsense here a movie based version of the only season of firefly and since the show was stupidly canceled after only one season in 2003 I'm trash. Uh, our, our, our Firefly. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Oh, uh, so yeah. I mean, hey, Fox, you got to own it, man. That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, they want to bring it back though. But we'll see if uh, Josh Whedon will allow it. Yeah, the uh, ca- the cast is all moved on. Huh? It's never gonna happen. Yeah, it's that's gonna be a tough one. Um, so basically, the the government tries to control them and. You know, it's it ends up being not great. You end up with the Reavers, and it's a, it just kind of explains the entire TV series, the the one the one season TV series in in basically a, an encapsulated movie, right? All right. So, so yeah, yeah. So it's awesome. Oh, this was the giant. Yeah. So the reason I did this, just to be clear, the reason I did this was after criticizing, you know, pseudo criticizing China at the beginning of the segment. I decided when you said something on Mickey Mouse to throw the thing about Mickey Mouse yelling at people about criticizing China in there. Right. I thought it was super clever. Oh, it's good. It's good. Who here thought they had permission to say anything critical of Chinese politics? With the, el- <laughs> I can watch this stuff over and over again. That's, that's so great. Yeah. I mean, there's a whole bunch of crazy, you know, we're not, I just, we're not crazy like conspiracy theorists or anything. We like to have fun with stuff and, you know, like to listen to both sides so yeah all right <clears throat> so that was the pax virus okay if you guys so, have not seen serenity i don't know what yeah. i don't know what's wrong with you so you need to go watch it all right i mean legitimately like dude I, I maybe mean, they don't know I, okay it's possible that you never heard of serenity or firefly 
and you're on the internet. It's possible. It's possible, yeah. But if you've seen Battlestar Galactica and you haven't seen Serenity, you should change that. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. No, that's you should we should watch it. If you like sci fi, good sci fi, you should go watch it. Yeah. Um, okay, so right after that one, we had the Borg thing. Was the Borg is last one? So the Borg nanopyrus, the, the nano pro virus. This is something that probably slid under the radar for a lot of people. Um, but the Borg queen had this really great idea. If you're a Borg, to basically gradually assimilate the human race um, through like this virus, this bio, what was it like a a human bio, like a bio bomb on earth right um where it could basically slowly take over people without no know- knowing it without noticing it but she needed seven of nine to do it and it was that whole episode of voyager where it was really like seven of nine's pivotal point where she had to decide whether she was gonna what was she a borg or was she human or you know what where was she gonna was she an individual or did she want to be in the collective right and so it was they used that episode but the backdrop of that episode is this crazy virus that star trek really didn't explore fully after this which would have been very frightening you know without having you know borg coming in and manually do having to do the work right i mean i I feel like the criticism people have of the borg and how like they could have easily have like taken over the human race at any of the 15 opportunities they had are really valid because it seems like the borg were stopped every time the borg were stopped it was like pure luck you know, or sheer will. But excellent writing, yes. Or excellent writing, right. Yeah. It was always like... Necessary plot. Yeah, I feel like the Borg could have taken over. Like, I understand, like, we're like the scrappiest uh, race in the pl- in the galaxy, and they can't stop us, but eh, I feel like they could have. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... I, and, and this is a perfect example. The whole... <clears throat> the whole bio... Uh, Sorry, the nanoprobe virus is a great example. Mm-hmm. You don't even have to infect planet Earth. All you have to do is infect a couple people going to planet Earth. It's not hard. Yeah, um, it's, it's slow, you know. But Seven of Nine decided not to help, so the Queen couldn't, like, effectively make it useful for humans or whatever. Um, but and it's a great – this is a really good for this episode of Voyager because I think this is the moment when, when Jerry Ryan, her character really – the development of her character comes to a point where she becomes – really a, a favorite of the show. Um, and you really get a lot of buy-off, a lot of character development there that was great for Voyager. So uh, I just felt like that had to be there. Um, the Borg needed to be in this. There's a lot of other ones we could have picked out. If you look at comments that we've got on the video right now. Oh, and just so you guys know, um, it, it's this video doesn't come up at the same time. So you might watch the oh, video yeah, on the podcast I mean, channel. And you may watch it and be like, oh, I'm going to go watch the uh, their discussion about it. We typically read these after it gets released because Brian works hours and hours and hours uh, getting our regular video up. And we just can't record right away. And we don't want to record before because we want to talk about, you know, everything up to the upload process. So just be patient. It might be, you know, the same day or maybe even the next morning before you get this video sometimes. Right. But if you go back and look at some of the comments... I don't understand this one. Someone's wife isn't giving him love. Please, a little less of the pleasing more, if you please. What? What does that mean? Let me look at it again. Someone's <clears throat> wife isn't giving him love. Please, a little less of the pleasing. Oh, I think it's it's just your. <laughs> I think they're talking about maybe uh, your uh, sexual uh, editing <laughs> in this video. What? The the. the uh, I think they're talking about you and the fact that you've got some uh, female body parts in this one. Because so the, someone's because wife the, isn't giving him love. Because the, the Klingon Kim, Kim Kardashian thing? Yeah, probably. Dude, that was, that was hilarious. What are you talking about? No, he's not saying it's not funny. He's just commenting. Someone's wife isn't giving him love. That Please a little sense. less of the pleasing more. I, 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 maybe I'm reading wrong into that, but I, I have a feeling it's so, you know, it has something to do with that. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but uh, Dismeth and JWA, I would love for you to explain that. I'm but confused. He, that's a long time <clears throat> subscriber there, so he's, he'll probably watch this video. Yeah, watch it. Tell me what you meant. I don't understand. Um, um, 
I would have saved the Cylon virus for a Skynet list. Oh. No place one. on a list whose heading implies biological viruses. Yeah, but we also talk about the biological part of that virus, too, so... Right, we talk about the other side. That yeah. is that is true. I thought that's what made it interesting, was the fact that it wasn't biological, and so though it's still a scary virus. We are glad that it doesn't impact us. Yeah, and that's plus, why we kind of gave the thing about if you were sitting at home on your computer and we talked about it. Right. Um, this video demands part two. I agree, but probably won't happen. <laughs> um, uh, it might happen. Mm -hmm. You know, we're getting quite a few suggestions. We got a Doctor Who virus that actually would have been a. That's, that would be interesting. Doctor Who would be a good one. If we opened up the doors for zombie viruses, we, we could do like 19 parts to this video. You could, yeah. You would have to do like, literally, if we were going to do it, you'd have to do zombie viruses, like five zombie viruses. Right. And the T-virus would 100% be at the top of that list. I really wanted to do that one. Yeah, it's the only one. I, it's the only zombie virus I re legitimately care about. Yeah, that's it. Has a great the series is great. I love this. Uh, CG projects. Let's see, that's lit. Human pulses are impulsive. Nah, lol. I think you meant repulsive, but yeah, that's funny. Uh, amazing video, thank you. I agree. There's one, there's, not, there's one on here. Oh, dude, this one. The Flood from Halo. It's obviously oh, a game, but it's it, a really good virus. That was a good one. That's a scary virus. <laughs> Why no Andromeda strain? Oh, for a variety of reasons. Yeah. And that was actually on my, my initial list. I decided to take it off the list because all the footage is garbage. But it is a great virus, and it is something that probably would have been on the list had we been able to... You know, I would have probably, it was tough. I didn't want to remove the Borg or the Klingon virus. Oh, this one. Why all the BS at the beginning? Just get on with the video. Hey, bro. It's a minute long. It's a minute. It's a, <clears throat> excuse me. I got, it's a minute long. It's a minute of video. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one minute. It's one minute to introduce the point of the 15 minute long video. One minute. Well, I think the person who... Take your meds, bro. Well, I think the person... <laughs> I don't know why you get so personal. Because it's one minute. <laughs> well, but, you know, some people, I guess they don't have time for a minute. I like what I like what this person said. Don't click on the 15-minute video. J, JWB52Z said, it's called an introduction. <laughs> so I thought that was great. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, listen, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, but I wouldn't say, you know, when you say it's BS at the beginning, it's, I mean, it's not BS, it's kind of setting it up. And plus we wanted to remain topical. So something else we're doing the video because of what's going on right now. So if we were just to do like five viruses and just talked about the viruses only, it doesn't really connect with kind of what we're going through. And, and the you're idea on the wrong channel. If you're looking for a top 10 list, you're on the wrong channel. Yeah. I don't, and maybe they're not, maybe they're just looking for a discussion. But um, I'm just saying, if you if you're watching this video looking for like one of those Twitter top five lists, go back to BuzzFeed, dude. Like, come on. Yeah, we're definitely not a top five thing, and they're not complaining that these aren't the top five. They just wanted us to get into it. But here's what I would say to you: is I would challenge you, uh, the commenter on here. I would challenge you to open up your mind and spend that extra minute really taking a look at the content. Okay, let's just look at the first minute. Right now, you may be sitting at home wondering when hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes will reappear on... What? I was, I was going to say, if you're watching this, you know, now we're going to force him to watch it if he's here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, check out this introduction. Store shelves. And as you connect that garden hose to your bathroom sink, then snake it under your toilet seat to create a makeshift bidet, the real thing you're wondering is, why did they take all the toilet paper? And while we may never get an answer to that eternal question, you can be forever grateful that our current pandemic wasn't created by the writers behind some of our favorite science fiction shows. So now that so 30 seconds to explain the premise, yeah. you have that I mean, bidet in go, place yeah. and the water temperature minute, set Shane. to lukewarm. I now, trust me, you want to check the, the that. Oh my is, God. Is that that's fantastic. You know, sit back, get comfortable, no joke and let's people, check out you know, some like, viruses real, that we like, are grateful if you did, like, I haven't been able to find toilet paper since day one. Since since this whole since the first rush to the store started happening, I still really? haven't found any. Fifty seconds, fifty seconds, bro. <clears throat> well, it goes a little more before we actually get to the first virus. It actually goes further than that. Oh yeah, we got in the intro, whatever. But but, like, but here's the thing: is I th you know all that's necessary because if you don't have that, it doesn't you know. 
it doesn't really set it up right. But here's the thing is it's you good writing. It's good there. writing to set yourself up, bro. Am I yeah, and here's the thing is like for real, like you, I thought it was funny to kind of use a hose as a bidet because some people are talking about some funny things of, hey, uh, you know, you may not be able to wipe your butt with toilet paper soon if people keep hoarding it because I'm still going to the store, dude. Toilet paper is showing up and I'm asking the, the different places. I'm like, hey, guys, are you going to get it? Oh, yeah, we get toilet paper in, but it's gone within minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, why? That's like, the new don't you guys have enough toilet paper at home? Like, Every every square of per toilet paper is going to be worth a dollar present. It's crazy. I mean, I don't know. I just listen. I get fear. Real quick, fear story for coronavirus. I know this is going really long. The the moment I realized this was going to be bad was kind of right at the beginning of this whole thing. Nothing had happened. There was no news put out. All we heard was somebody in the states, like the first person who got got coronavirus in the states. My wife said, "Hey, I, go get some hand sanitizer so we just you know can make sure we're taking care of our hands." So I started looking around the grocery store in different places. I'm like, babe, there's no hand sanitizer anyway. So she found some at Bath and Body Works, right? She said, hey, go down to Bath and Body Works, get it. All right, so I'm going. Dude, I get into Bath and Body Works. And literally, there's it's like a Monday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And there are like 50 people inside the store. And I'm like, what Jeez. the heck is going on, right? And so I walk up. And of course, they're all surrounded, these little tiny bottles of hand sanitizer. This is one ounce okay and they were flocking it and taking it and they, they put a limit on it and so i'm like standing in line they had everybody stand in line you go get your little hand sanitizer right the guy behind me is like this <gasps> oh my god okay and like i'm like are you okay are you sir are you all right and he's like i, I just don't want to I, I need to get some and i'm like you know what at that moment i knew it was over if you were that upset from from not being able to get something and of course within a week the shelves were just empty yeah and it's dude. like that's the way people are bro have you, have you seen some of this footage from around the world about oh, people fighting over toilet crazy. paper it's crazy look at that lady's like okay yeah I, i'll use a bidet i'll use a bidet it's fine yeah you know it's crazy it, it's nuts uh it took me a long time to find this particular video mm -hmm. like all the shots were like <laughs> crazy blurry and everything right yeah so like i had to like take the video footage from like the cell phone shot and like upscale it and everything just to make it look like remotely you know easy to watch it was sort of crazy it's crazy well it's a crazy oh world. there's a comment here i want to address real quick the guy said zero eleven what wait what and then, yeah it's that shot of the of the dude with the hairy legs and, and oh, the is it? panties yeah <laughs> i think it's okay. funny yeah, so they caught it. You know, there are some really funny things in here. And look, you know, there's a lot of weird stuff going on out there right now. We don't know how long this is going to last. So try to have a little bit of fun with it. And you guys just stay safe out there and, you know, protect yourself, protect your families. And we're going to get through this thing pretty soon. Yeah. And you know what? And while you're stuck in your house, come check out some podcast videos because we're going to be making some cool stuff. And oh, I'm yeah. going <clears> to <throat> go ahead. Well, I just want to make sure we talk about our sponsor, Mixed Tees, who put out a hilarious, I thought it was just hilarious, um, when they come up with this idea for a Netflix or quarantine and chill shirt, mm. which is in that video. Mm -hmm. As you know, Netflix and chill has been around for a long time. Right. So they've got, mm. you know, a pandemic original just to take off. I just thought it was really funny. If you're going to wear a funny shirt, this is a really good one. They got some other ones out there, like straight out of toilet paper for the straight out of Compton one. I hate 2020, which is hilarious. 2020 is pretty crappy right now. Yeah. yeah. Panic at the Costco. Uh, just some really funny shirts. So go out there, check them out. Use Popcast. Use the code Pop. Uh, what is it? The Popcast for 20% off and uh, support the channel. We appreciate it. Yeah. And we're going to leave you here with my favorite, absolute favorite. I always do this. I want to show you guys my favorite clip of the video. <laughs> All right. This is not my, it's not Shane's favorite, my favorite clip. It's, uh, that is Gabin, the owner of Valve. <laughs> you know, the, you know the video game company? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. All right, there it is. Right, here it comes. <laughs> it's real quick. That's actually him. That's awesome. What is that from? That's from, uh, the International 7, uh, uh, 2000, sorry, TI said the International 7 in 2018. Um, they did like the opening ceremony and there was a clip of him telling the talent that they're on and you couldn't tell it was him until the camera zoomed in 
when they made like a silly joke or something and he was like and it's the multi-millionaire that is Gabin. Yeah. thought that was pretty awesome. funny Okay, uh, everybody. If you guys, uh, let's talk about it. In the, if you guys want to talk about the video, talk about it below. We'll answer all your questions and um, let us know what you think. And if there's something you want us to do, let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, very specifically, subscribe to this channel because, uh, you know, we need subscribers. We want to go live eventually, and we can't go live uh, until we get to 1,000 subscribers. So that's it, my friends. Love you so much. Stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. See you next time. Adios. Odor blocker body wash is so powerful it can block BO for 16 hours. It's so powerful it can turn off the sun, but then it gets too cold, so it makes another sun. Double sun power! P -p 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 power! All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you made it this far in the video, then you obviously must have liked something. So do us a favor. Go ahead and check in the video right over there. You got the next one coming right up. Just keep on going through podcast videos because Brian and I have a lot of stuff to share with you. Thanks for watching. Watch, 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 wat